I'm here at Wild Mountain Cafe in Ballard. It's a place that's been around for almost two decades. People who come here describe it as grandma's house. It has such a homey feeling. People are always excited to come in and they really know this restaurant in the neighborhood. But the owner says she's doing everything in her power to make sure people know they are still here. Desiree Ellsworth owns Wild Mountain Cafe. The restaurant has been around for almost 20 years and after working here for 13, she took it over in 2019. Just like many other businesses, hers took a tremendous hit during the pandemic. The comfort food joint pivoted to curbside pickup and third party food delivery services. And now Ellsworth says Seattle Restaurant Week is another opportunity to keep business going. We even at one point printed flyers and we're walking up and down the streets, putting them in mailboxes and things, just trying to think of every way to be like, we're still here. However we can be a part of it and whatever support we can get, we're here for that. Washington restaurants were among the hardest hit in the entire country during the pandemic with the fifth highest closure rate. The Washington Hospitality Association estimates 35% of restaurants in our state will close permanently in the next year. So that's why your favorite local restaurants are hoping you will take the opportunity to support them. So from March 2020 to September of 2020, over 1,000 restaurants closed in King County, over 200 in Pierce County, nearly 260 in Snohomish County, and over 2,000 across the entire state. So if you're interested in supporting local restaurants and you want to know more about Seattle Restaurant Week, all you have to do is text the word food to the number on your screen. That is 206-448-4545. We'll send you that link. From Ballard, I'm Kiara L. Fallen, King 5 News.